I'm going to share a little secret with you. My mother worked at a library when I was growing up. Okay. And as a kid, I had to learn the Dewey Decimal System. Yes. Do we still use it? It is still alive and well. It is still alive and well. It is still the basic way that we catalog and put books on the shelves. But one of the things that's happening in libraries now, we're trying to also make things easier for our patrons. Mm -hmm. So there are times that now we sometimes just put out displays that are dealing with a particular topic. Like right now, you might come into the library, you might not have to go to the stacks. You'll see gardening books because we're in the summer and that's what people are doing. Right, so we right. do have subject collections that we display, but still the basic way of cataloging and making books available to our patrons is a Dewey Decimal System. Now the courses that we talked about previously, is there a fee for those? Or? There is no charge. We are truly the Elizabeth Free Public Library. And if you don't mind, give that website again, the Liz. It is www.elizpl.org, and I must give you give ourselves. I must give the library a plug. Okay. We have updated our website. Please go to that website, and you will find links to information, mm -hmm. and you will find information about what's happening in the building. Everything that I've spoken about today, I guarantee you can get more in-depth information on our website. I want to thank you and Carolyn both because she's always feeding us the information that we forward to the city's website. And there's, like I said, there's tons of activities going on. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you. When you see Carolyn, give her my condolences, not my condolences, my thank you. <laughs> I certainly will. I certainly will. I, I, she'll be happy to hear that. OK. Now, I want to talk to you. We spoke earlier about partnering with some future orf authors. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to identify some authors up the city of Elizabeth. Do you think that's a possibility? We can well, do what's that? happened is I will be contacting you okay. uh, before the end of the week, Kimberly Payone, who is our branch manager and also our teen librarian, uh, she has identified a couple of people because I had spoken to her about it when we talked about it. So information will be forthcoming. Okay. Okay. And at the public library, does the, the main library, does the hours change for the summer versus the fall? Our hours are the same, uh, 365 days a year. At least the days we're open. The main library open from 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Now I noticed in Philadelphia and other communities that the libraries have closed due to budget cuts. How does Governor Christie's proposed budget cuts affect our libraries? <sighs> It's, it's, really, uh, it's really devastating mm -hmm. if it goes through the way uh, he's proposing it. Uh, one of the things, one of the services that, are, that is very important to our library is the interlibrary loan service. Mm -hmm. you, you, certainly, with all the books that are published every year, we can't own everything. But when our patrons come into the library and they need a book that we don't have, through interlibrary loan, I can go to another library and say, do you have this book? May we borrow it? But the thing that is going to be missing if the mm. budget cut goes through is that we won't have that delivery system. The cost of that delivery system is completely underwritten by the state library. Okay. So we're going to lose that. The other thing that we're going to lose is we're going to lose the uh, electronic journals. All the journals that you see in hard copy, the periodicals or magazines mm -hmm. as you would say, uh, they are provided to us free of charge by the State Library. That is a cut. And, and finally, another cut that's very real for us is the fact that, for example, we get state aid from uh, the library every year from the State Library. Right. Last year, for example, I got $100,000, approximately $100,000. This year, I will get 50% of that. Okay. So we are Ooh. being affected in a very real way. But I must say to you that the Union County uh, Free, chosen freeholders. They've always been big supporters of the library. Right. They've written a letter to Governor Christie imploring him that it is important that he rescinds the deep cuts that we've had to, uh, okay. to take as libraries. All right. Well, thank you for sharing all this fab fabulous information. Can I just say one other thing? Save New Jersey Libraries org. You our patrons out there can make a difference. Go to that website. They'll tell you what you can do to save our libraries. And the link is also on our website. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in for this segment of Our City. Have a great week. Thank you. I went too long. I'm sorry.